Hello viewers, my name is Isaac Mwangi or Mwangi the farmer. That is my digital platform name. I usually do farming. I'm an agronomist. Welcome to Avi Orchard Farm. Well, this is the farm I manage. It is 120 acres. We have fruits, we have horticultural crops, and we have other perennial crops. I do fruits and vegetable farming. Today, I will advise you on how to market your fruits and your vegetables. One is physical selling. You have to take your samples to the market. Second is digital selling, where you post your products through Facebook, through WhatsApp, through Twitter, LinkedIn. The third selling is boot selling, which you sell your produce behind the car. The physical selling, this is where you take your samples of the produce. Like most of the time, I usually take the samples to Marigiti and Mudurua. To have that order, you must ensure you have a good quality of the produce. When they give you an order, you must build a trust with the buyer. You must take the first order very serious. You must take the camera. You should take the, say it is a camera product to the market so that you can gain the trust from buyers. Then from there, the buyers will be calling you for for the order. So for digital platform, we have a very many digital ways. We have Facebook. Like for instance, most of the time I use Facebook to market my products. There is a group called Digital Farmers Kenya. That's where I usually post my produce. I have to take a picture to post it. Then when you gain the first customer, make sure he or she gives you a positive remark on the Facebook. That's the way you are building a lot of trust. Like for my instance, when my first customer I got from Facebook, I had to make sure I post saying a happy client. Then she came and gave a happy review. That's the way I got a lot of trust and um, I was able to sell a huge amount of produce. For boot selling, you load your produce to the van or the car you have and usually visit the market. This enhances you to know the market. Because you shall say, when you are farming, farm, farm according to the weather in the market, not the weather in the farm. That's why you are able to meet the, to know the demand, because you are there physically. The difference between the market weather and the farm weather, the market weather is usually, usually controlled by the demand of the market. That's why we shall tell farmers not to plant because it has rained. Understand the market first. When you understand the market, you know when to produce, how to produce, and what to produce at a given time. So the weather at the farm, maybe it is raining, but at the market it is also raining. You cannot take mangoes when it is raining. So you have to ensure your crops are on sunny, sunny on the summer. The other way to ensure you have a market is to ensure you have a consistent, consistency production. This is at any given time, you have a produce which you are selling at the market. So as we have said, you, you must build a trust with the buyer. So the other thing is building the farm brand by ensuring you have the consistency. Like for now, it is a sunny season, I have the cabbages. So during the season, the buyer who is coming to buy my produce, he has seen the cabbages. So he will contact his or her friends who buy my cabbages. This is another way of making your marketing very simple. Don't be a one season farmer. We have a lot of varieties here. We have diversified our, our risk by producing a lot of products. We have lemon, lime, pixel, pomegranate, mangoes. So then we have hot kacha crops, which, are, which enable us to fulfill the short-term goals of the farm. Many farmers are crying about the cost of production. The cost of production determines the marketing of your produce. So if you can know how to control your cost of production, you produce at minimum cost, you can be able to compete at the market. So for one to ensure you have a low cost of production, ensure you know your soil pH. Because when your soil is so much acidic, like it is ranging from pH of 4 to 4.5, you are losing 71% of your fertilizer. So if you are supposed to use one bottle top of DAP in a certain plant, 
you shall reuse three. So you have multiplied your cost three times. As a new farmer, there is many ways to overcome competition when you are entering the market. First of all, you have to ask yourself before you produce, is there a market of the products which I'm going to produce? How is the price faring to the other buyers? So the other thing, ensure that the quality of your product is very good. Because what I have come to realize, the market is not based on quantity, it is based on quality. So if you can produce one acre of cabbages, which are which have high quality, you can transform that to 10 acres of cabbages. Of, so you can increase your quantity as you maintain your quality. As a new farmer, you need also to build the trust with the buyers. First of all, you have to take the samples in a market. That is a logistic thing you, as a farmer you must do. When you are taking the samples, you usually compare the, the quality of the products that are there. If you know you have a good quality and you can produce in a consistency manner, you can be able to determine the prices of your produce. That's what we call the farm gate prices. But you, if you know your quality is bad, then you are going there to beg the buyers to buy your produce. If you are selling pixel at 110, kg, 110 per kg at farm gate, so for delivery services, usually in car, maybe five shillings per, per kilo. So the buyer who is at Nairobi will sell him or her at shillings 115 so that the cost of transportation be spread to the buyer. You share it with the buyer. There is a lot of challenges we usually encounter we as farmers from harsh weather condition, but the most is on marketing. There we have, here outside we have a lot of corn men and scammers. You deliver a product, but you are not given money in return. For my case, what I have emphasized, if a buyer wants me to deliver the product, he must, he or she must pay the half of the price. When I deliver the product and he ensure the quality is good, he will pay the, the balance. But if the product is not on the quality, I will return my product and I will refund back the deposit. To control the fluctuating market prices, you need a very strategic method of approach of the market. Because here we usually say, always spread your risk when you are farming. At least the time you find a market is flooded with the produce which you have. For example, the oranges. Like or mangoes. Like now we have a flooding you know, market for mangoes. But you can play with the with the plant. You can induce certain hormones which will make it to flower during the sunny period so that you can have your products when there is scarcity in the market. The other strategic way we usually use is spreading of risk, having various enterprise. Like you have mangoes you have cabbages you have tomatoes so that if one product fails you can compensate the cost with another product and you can be able to earn the profit you must incur cost of marketing so as to have a good market of your product second you must commit yourself you must ensure what you are giving to buyers is a good produce. Ensure the quality you have is competitive to the market. Okay, then you can take the risk by trying different markets which you have not tried before. For instance, if you are, have been dealing with the bigger markets in our city, you can try also the smaller market in the outcast of Nairobi. So you can be able to know what even, even the smaller buyers in the villages, what do they need. The other thing, you can value add your value addition to your product. Like now here, we are considering starting to sell our own juices from our oranges. For buyers who are outside and are willing to take fresh produce, 
which are produced with sustainable agriculture. We have different varieties of crops. We have mangoes, we have oranges, we have pixel, we have tajaline, we have rime, we have lemon, we have grapefruit, we have bananas, we have hash avocado, and also all types of horticultural vegetables we also have. So you can make your orders through 0724-203-318. They also offer agronomy services. You can reach me, I advise you on how to farm and what to produce and how you market your products. Thank you.